Hi guys, Anna here again, another ponder point. It's been a few weeks since I've put one up, so here goes. My my late thought lately has been about uh, what is getting my attention, and, and so I challenge you to think about what is getting your attention. What is it that you might not have seen or might see every day, and then suddenly it grabs your attention. You may look at it differently, you may see it from a different angle, uh, yeah, and it just, it just impacts you. So what is it that gets your attention, and what do you do with that? You know, is there something that you need to do with that? Is there something you need to learn from that, um, that thing that's getting your attention? The other day I was uh, walking across the road from the, our local supermarket and as I walked across the road my eyes were caught by the flashing lights of a cross that was in the window of the church office um, at, of our church and uh, the cross was flashing and, I, and it was, I have seen, I put the cross, I put it there, I put those lights there over COVID, uh, our total lockdown, I just went into the church and put them up, um, but I hadn't seen them from that angle before and I hadn't seen them flashing. Someone had hit a button and reset the uh, lights and they weren't just static any longer, they were flashing. So that caught, caught my attention and it really impacted me to think about um, Jesus and what he did on that cross for me and the remembrance of what he did and how he died and took all the sin of the whole world, of you, me and everybody else um, that we know and love and took it on, the, on himself on that cross um, and then rose again three days later to be with the Father in heaven. So, so there's, um, we, we still sin, of course we still sin, um, but we know that we are forgiven when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Saviour. So, so my question to you this day is, what is it that's getting your attention? What is it that uh, impacts you? And what, if, you, if, if that thing has got your attention, what are you going to do with that? What are you going to take it from your hand, from your head, put it into your heart? and then work it out through your hands. So, so you might hear it, you might see it, you might um, recognize something. Um, what does that mean for you? What does that mean in your heart? You might have a head knowledge of it, but what does it mean in your heart? And also then how are you going to outplay that in the actions that you take from that moment on with that, with that impression, with that impact, with that um, thing that's caught your attention. So my challenge today is, uh, what is it that gets your attention and what are you going to do with it? God bless you all.